I'm here with uh, Nathan Diaz, his boxing coach, Richard Perez. How you doing? Welcome yeah. to Dallas. How serious is uh, um, Nate? What's that? When, how serious is Nate taking uh, this fight? He's always serious in every fight. Uh, you know, um, I think it's well documented in, uh, in his MMA fights. He, I, I think they don't watch, you know, um, tape on their opponent. But since this is boxing, uh, are y'all watching tape and are y'all studying Jake for um, for this fight coming up August fifth? Oh yeah, for sure. That's that's in every fight. And um, has uh, are y'all doing anything differently uh, besides the normal training? I mean, we know uh, we know Nate trains hard for every fight. Um, is there anything different uh, going on for this fight for Jake? Because um, you know he is uh, he he has his credentials, but you know you just never know. He he is a dog in there, and you you just never know what gets a opponent like that. Uh, you're saying that Jake's a dog? Yeah, I mean, well, I mean the thing is, is that he, okay, he's a dog, but Nate's a bigger dog. Oh, absolutely. I tell you what. Uh, yeah, we watch his tapes and watch him, and Nathan sparred with, I mean, top of the line. And I've been working with him since he was a kid. I mean, it's, it's uh, I know his style, and Jake doesn't know the style until he gets in that ring. Exactly, like you just said, you've uh, been around world champions. Yes. Um, do you think uh, Jake brings any problems into into this ring from what you've seen Jake in his boxing matches in any, a short amount of time? Any fighter can, can give you a problem and just take one. So, but as far as Jake, he doesn't have a lot of experience at all. I mean, his, his mouth does a lot, you know, but as far as getting there physically, he's going to be mentally and physically here. He's got to be really, have a, he doesn't have so much a lot of experience. Certainly they say he's got power. Yeah, he can hit him, but as far as experience and knowledge, Nathan's is on top. And um, how do you see this fight going? Uh, do you see it going the full eight rounds? Or do you see, um, and you know, obviously Nathan, do you see him finishing the fight? Well, Jake just said he'd go more than eight. So we're hoping maybe 12. Because, you know, you never know. But the thing is, um, I never like to predict, you know, people ask me that all the time. And I just say, hey, if it happens, it happens. I don't want to go out there and try it because you don't want to try something that you think you can do and then you get caught. So he's going to go out there and box and be smart. Because he says he'll do it. Do you, do you want 10, 10 rounds because, you know, Nate is a, a slow starter? But no. that's in, in MMA, you know, this is boxing, so it's, it's going to be a whole nother. No. The, the, the thing, reason why he likes to go a little longer is because he trains that way. You know, he trains, oh, he, he does triathlons, he does everything. So when you go into the box or you, or you MMA or UFC or whatever, the thing is, is that he's got a lot of stamina. And he don't want no little eight, eight round fight. This would be a, a big fight. So why make it an eight round? If people want to see something, if you look at a big fight, right? So let's go up to 12 or 10. Hey, Richard, I appreciate your time. Uh, best of luck to you and your team. Um, can't wait to see y'all August 5th. Any right. shout outs you want to give out to? Uh, family, friends, or sponsors that, you know, Real Fight Inc. y'all might have in your gyms. I just want to thank 209 Stockton, uh, my family, Perez family, the Guterres family, and, and everybody. Hey, Richard, best of luck to you. Thank, thank you. you.